Howdy everyone. I'm back out here on the ice again. I've got my otter hub all set up for an evening of fishing. I'm hoping to find some crappie out here tonight. I was actually at this exact same spot about a week ago with my friend Jacob. The very first hole we drilled here, we marked some brush down there. So I think we might've found one of the spots where the DNR dumps Christmas trees out here on this lake. So I've got my shack set up right next to that. We actually caught a few crappies on tip ups right in this general area. So. I figured I'd come back out here tonight to give it another try. Sit in the shack where it's nice and warm and really focus on those crappie. We've got maybe 20 minutes until sunset. So I'm gonna hop in there. I'll show you guys what we're using real quick and we'll get some lines in the water. So I'm gonna be using these Northland Glow Shot Firebelly spoons out here tonight. They actually have a little tiny glow stick that pops right in there. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to constantly pull your jig up to recharge the glow with your flashlight. So here in North Dakota, we're allowed four lines through the ice. I think I'm just going to go with three. I think three should be plenty if we really get on those fish. So I've got a perch color of that fire belly spoon tied on one rod. And I've got a pink fire tiger one on another with a red glow stick. And then I've got a red one with a red glow stick. And then I'll just stick a fathead minnow on each of those and we'll drop them down the hole. So the red one I'm going to send that one down the hole right in front of me here because that red is a good walleye color too so I'll probably jig this one a little bit and I'm going to set this one to about 10 inches up off the bottom we'll keep that one kind of low the two corner ones I'm going to set a little bit higher up we'll set those maybe two or three feet up just because I like to keep that bait up above the crappie they have a easier time seeing things above them. All right, I'll let that guy sit down there. I'll try to get one of my other lines dropped before that bobber goes down. Hoping we're to the time of day when the perch are kind of starting to move out of here. So if you come out here in the afternoon, it's pretty much instantly, as soon as you get your bait down, the perch come and get it. Which, I mean, it's all right. It's fun catching perch. But I'm kind of hoping for some crappie out here tonight. Caught a few out here off this spot the other day on tip-ups. So I'm fairly certain that we're gonna catch some out here tonight. We can actually sit and pay a little bit closer attention to our lines. Sometimes the crappie have a tough time triggering those tip-ups too, especially the iFish pros. You gotta give that line a good yank in order to trigger the flag to pop. So yeah, when we finished up here the other night, the one iFish Pro that I did have set up, probably five feet over to the left over here, I had no bait on my line. So I'm pretty sure a crappie just sat down there and nibbled my minnow right off the hook. But that's all right. We're gonna get them tonight. There's one. Just watch that bobber drop there. I bet this is gonna be a crappie. It's just starting to get dark outside. Oh yeah. Look at that. First crappie of the night. Yeah, that's a nice one. 
right, I got my hook back from him. He's bleeding just a little bit, but that's all right because I think I'm gonna take that one home for dinner. Trying to drop my one rod. Oh, I swear that bob rod's just down. Oh, some just bit it. There we go. I was gonna say, I know as soon as I set that rod down, something's gonna come pull that bobber down. I just caught that other crappie a minute ago. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> he just came unhooked at the hole there. Look at the size of that crappie. Jeez, that's a beast. We'll see if they'll swim back down there. I kind of like to release those bigger ones, but we are catching them in about 36 feet of water right here, so kind of a 50-50 on whether or not they're going to swim back down the hole or not. Well, we'll let him sit there for a minute while I get my other line dropped. If he doesn't swim off, we'll take him home too. got my line down. Well, I tried to release this big crappie, but he does not want to swim back down the hole. I'm catching them in about 36 feet of water here, so that might be an issue getting them to swim. So, hound's a little bit bigger than I like to keep, but we're going to bring him home, I think. All right, I was able to get all three of my lines back in. Oh, this one's going. Got him. Yeah, it's not gonna take too long to get that 10 fish limit out here tonight, I don't think. That's all right though. I'm gonna bring home some crappie for a nice Christmas crappie fry. Look at that. Yeah, that's a perfect eater right there. Get him unhooked. Toss him in the corner with his buddies. And we'll see if we can add to it. We're allowed to keep 10 crappie here in North Dakota, so if I could bring home a limit of 10, I'd be a pretty happy camper. Somebody's nibbling on this one over here. Got him. What do you know? Another crappie. Jeez, look at that. Absolutely beautiful fish. Yeah, it's been about 20 minutes since I caught that first one, so once they decide to bite, it is definitely on. Something going on over here. Oh yeah, there's a fish there. What do we have here? Well, 
Hello there, Mr. Crappy. Uh-oh, I think I've got one of my other lines here, too. Yeah, we'll get that sorted out. All right. Another quality crappie. What is that, number six? Yeah, we're going to have some good eating on Christmas Day. We're going to have some fried up crappie. Oh, yeah. That's really some of my favorite fish to eat. I think I caught that line. Yep, we sure did. Oh, there it goes. Somebody gave it a little tap. As soon as I dropped that one down, something came right up and looked at it. Crappie number seven. Yeah, they're all quality fish out here tonight, too. A couple that were just a hair smaller, but... They're all good eating size fish. That one right there is about perfect. All right, I just got my bait dropped back down there. I've got a couple of fish looking. Oh, there's one. Got him. I keep an eye on the two bobbers because I think there was two or three fish down there. Might be a school of crappies swimming through. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolute beauty of a crappie. Yeah, this is crazy. I never really considered this lake to be a crappie lake, but we sure are hammering them out here tonight. Paste it up about three feet up off the bottom. Let's see what this is. I was thinking walleye at first, but for him to come up that high was kind of weird. White bass, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, he's got my other line over there, too, I think. White bass. Look at that. Bonus white bass. Get him unhooked. So I can get my line untangled there. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. It's a nice bonus catch though. White bass. Yeah, it's a pretty fish. Almost look like they could be half related to a crappie. Trying to get my other rod untangled over there. Luckily, I just saw that bobber go down out of the corner of my eye. Hey, there's a crappie. I'm starting to wonder if the crappie bite was over for the evening. It's been nothing but white bass out here for the last half hour, but that's nice to see. Still a couple of crappie roaming around down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll try for one more. I'll give it another 15, 20 minutes, I think.
Oh, here we go. It's just about to start packing up and get ready to go. We'll see if this is crappie number 10. Hey, look at that. It sure is. Jeez, what an awesome day it's been out here. These fish are such a blast to catch. Definitely one of my favorite fish to eat too, so. We'll be bringing a bunch of them home. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's trip. I've reached my limit, so it's time for me to pack my gear up and hit the road. What a fun evening out here on the ice, though. We got some really nice crappie. Yeah, my family's gonna be absolutely thrilled to have some fresh crappie for Christmas dinner. Yeah, I had a blast catching them too. Definitely one of my favorite fish to catch through the ice. So I had a whole lot of fun out here today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.